Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. Energies for your person, the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords, the Hanged Man and the King of Pentacles. Between you and your person, we have the Page of Wands. Meeting energies, the Knight of Wands and the Moon, the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords, the Hermit and the Hanged Man. The Oracle cards, all that glitters and higher power. So guys, this person can be someone important for you. You have been seeing each other for a meaningful amount of time. Then the connection went kind of cold because this person pulled back. And you kind of freaked out about it, Nine of Swords. So you can have love for this person, Ace of Cups. And you saw a ton of potential in favor of this connection, Ten of Cups. This person, though, may struggle with the overall idea to settle down, King of Pentacles. It seems that they can be a little bit up in the air, hanged men, about that type of progression. And they can be hesitant to completely open up in favor of a special person in order to make a choice that can be a choice for love. The Two of Swords, there is the moon in the background, we got the moon, the Major Arcana, and there is also the moon in the background in the Eight of Cups. So it is fair to say that this person kinda got cold feet when it comes to the connection with you, even if the situation has been kinda fun for the two of you. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. The problem with the Knight of Wands, especially considering the moon, is that the energy can fall for a mindset that is not serious or consistent enough in order for a connection to be successful. And there is an evaluation that the two of you may have to fulfill. You can fear that your divine offer, the Ace of Cups, may not be reciprocated by this person because they can give you guys the perception to be the figure under the tree in the Four of Cups, so more focused in a fun and casual connection rather than on a serious relationship. You have to figure out if this person is interested in that type of progression. You have to manifest your own hermit energy. This person can do the same thing, guys. They can be super stuck. Hanged men, recurrent energy, they can hold on to an old idea that they have had about romantic connections. And if they do not feel in a natural way the opportunity to settle down with a special person, they can truly hold back from the opportunity to do things in a more serious way. So the old that glitters oracle card can work like a question was this connection real or was it just an illusion because your person of interest was not really available to put in the effort in favor of the connection to improve and develop? Because maybe the two of you got along extremely well, page of wands, knight of wands, if we think about the physical side of the connection, but then the situation became overwhelming for you, ten of wands, and your person couldn't handle it properly. So now we have to figure out if you want to hold on to the connection with this person, but most of all, we have to figure out if this person wants to hold on to an old mindset that may not be beneficial to a romantic connection with you. So what should you focus on in a situation like this one? There can be a gut feeling, guys, if we follow the higher power oracle card. Your intentions can be super, super genuine in favor of this person, but what do they want? I mean, do they want a game or do they want a true partnership? They have to be honest with themselves, but also with you. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. It can be about you guys, because of the Nine of Swords. You have to release the energy. It's one about anxiety. 
you do not need it. You need the hermit instead. You need wisdom. You do not need anxiety. The lovers, you can feel the connection deeply. The same can be true for your person of interest. I think that they struggled to handle it, guys. So I wouldn't say that the connection was an illusion. It was real, very real. This person got overwhelmed by it and they couldn't understand what was the best possible mindset in order to cooperate together with you. Now they will have some time in order to evaluate what they want to do, but uh, time is of the essence in a situation like this one, because yes, you may decide to wait a little bit, but I do not think that you are available to put your life on hold, waiting for this person to make up their mind. Star energy. So this can be even a soulmate connection with a purpose. I want to say for your person of interest, this can be a crossroads for them. There is a big chance available with someone that can be an extremely important person. You can be important for this individual, but they have to level up. They have to do more. They have to be more mature, more responsible. The Knight of Wands energy has to go. Maybe the energy describes how this person approached romantic connections along the journey. That chapter is over. If they want the real deal, they have to show up properly in favor of it. Or they will miss a chance, but it's a big one. Because it seems that if we follow the clarity that we can associate to the star, you want to shoot for the stars and you will not settle for a small connection, even if this person can be important for you. I get it, but it seems that you know what you want and if you can manifest it with this person, all good. Otherwise, you will look for another individual that can allow you to honor your expectations and desires. So, to this person, I would say, wake up, my friend. There is a major opportunity available. What's the obstacle, guys? The emperor, the necessity to level up, the necessity to do more. And then the willingness to take charge of a situation in order to transform into action a plan well thought. So the hanged man is a divine process. It cannot be rushed. We have to go with it. This person can take some time. Guys, you have to decide how much patience you can still have for the connection because this person may have the potential to change their perspective about romantic connections. And so they have the potential to show up in a different way, but the process may take some time, you know? And so you have a voice about that. Justice, right and fair evaluation in order to make a right and fair decision. The connection needs more balance and an equal give and take that should be manifested in a more powerful way. Your person has to do more. Knight of Swords. This can be about discussions. Maybe there were discussions about commitment. It's pointless to discuss. We have to understand if we can figure things out together or not. Knight of Cups. This is the energy that this connection needs. In the obstacles, we are not there yet because of the double hanged man, guys. This person can go quiet because they want to understand the connection in a deeper way. They should. It's the only way. There can be fears because of the moon influence. This person has been blocking love with the capital L, guys, because of the posture of the lady. Now love is knocking at their door because you have the Ace of Cups, the real deal. They have to decide if they want to change their approach towards love or if they are going to miss a chance, basically. So let's ask for guidance about this situation. It's a big one for some of you guys, but you cannot do the work for your person of interest. They have to do it on their own. And the only thing that you can do is 
take your power back, focus on your own journey, do your thing, shine in the brightest possible way, because if the connection is meant to be, this person can change their mind and reconnect with you. If they refuse to change their perspective, it means that they are on a lower vibration, which can be the Knight of Wands, basically. Five of Swords, ego, guys. This is truly the encouragement to avoid to fall for the Nine of Swords anxiety because it can lower your vibrations. Don't allow that to happen. It's pointless. You can also look at your person like they are a little bit caught up in their mind and ego. It's possible, guys. It's possible. But they are fooling themselves, basically. Hierophant energy, which can be the deal breaker. Commitment. This person was not thinking about the opportunity to settle down when they have met you. And then something bigger happened, which was the connection with you, but now they do not really know what to do with it. Seven of Swords, self-sabotage, guys, in this case. I wouldn't go down the road of betrayals, lies, deceits, and so forth. Self-sabotage. This person may struggle with the idea to settle down. They can be super successful if we follow the King of Pentacles, but if we think about a romantic connection, a proper one, they can have fears. And if they do not find a way to overcome them, they can lose a major opportunity. Three of Swords, boy, these energies. And the Ace of Swords, this can be a conversation, guys. A conversation that will basically decide the fate of this connection. Because I think that this person may reach out kind of sooner than expected because the Ace of Swords can set the hanged man free from the uncomfortable position. To you, I would say, let go of the outcome. You have done your best in favor of this connection. You have shown up in the best possible way. You made clear to this person that you had a real offer in their favor. Now the ball will be in their court. If they can match you guys, the connection has a chance. If they struggle for whatever reason, it's not even important at this point. If they struggle, they will offer you a feedback that is going to be an honest one, yes, but may not necessarily be the one that you want to hear from them. And then you will go from there. So this can be almost a relief, I want to say. I can understand that some of you may not be that lucky because this person maybe can say that they are not interested in a committed relationship. But even if that's the case, I want to encourage you to look at the brighter side because it means that you will have other opportunities. You will find someone that can be ready right from the start to share with you the Ace of Cups gift in order to manifest the Ten of Cups vision. This person has potential, but guys, we know that potential has to be manifested, transformed into reality by putting in a lot of effort. Otherwise, it can be potential down the drain. And we need to be honest. We need to be honest. I think that there is going to be a conversation and then after the conversation, you will have more clarity in order to decide if this person can move forward together with you or if you can part ways for good and then you will have the chance to pursue other connections that can be even better than this one. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.